Hi, I'm Ryan Kiefer, Program Associate in the Horticulture Department for the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. Today, I will be presenting a video about how to use pheromone traps for your pest management program with some help from Dr. Aaron Cato, Extension Horticulture IPM Specialist. IPM, or Integrated Pest Management, is a systems-based approach to pest management. It frequently relies on effective monitoring and other tactics to reduce economic and ecological impacts from pests. We can start to build an effective IPM program by utilizing the many tools that we have available to us. Insect trapping is one of the most useful tools in any IPM program by allowing you to determine relative pest pressure at a given location. There are a few different kinds of traps commonly recommended here in Arkansas for monitoring adult moths of caterpillar pests and vegetables. In this video, we will quickly highlight three of them that are useful in a monitoring program. This is a bucket trap design that is commercially available and retails for around $25 to $30 depending on the brand. The design is pretty straightforward with a trap base or bucket, a trap top or lid, a lure basket or cage, a funnel, and a wire hanger. The pieces attach together and can be checked at least once or twice a week. The reusable trap is then complete when you place a pest lure or a pheromone in the cage and hang it from a branch, stake, or a stand near your crop. One of the easiest traps a grower can get is called the Heliothis trap. It is commercially available and retails for around $120. The reusable trap is constructed with a durable fine mesh and encompasses a large bottom mesh funnel and a smaller removable mesh collection top. The removable top allows for easy monitoring of pests. The trap is tied to a pole or T-post using the mounting straps included with the trap or otherwise. It is useful to first drive the pole or T-post into the ground prior to installing the mesh trap. A pest lure or pheromone will attach at the large opening of the bottom mesh with a paper clip or a binder clip. The Heliothis trap can then be placed near your field with the opening of the trap about two feet above the ground. Make sure to maintain this height throughout the season. Lastly, we have the heart stack trap, also known as the Texas style cone trap. It was first developed by A.W. Hartstack in 1979. This reusable trap remains little changed. They are hard to find commercially, but the University of Kentucky has a blueprint for a Texas style cone trap that is free to download. The blueprints could be brought to a metal fabricator and made to order. Depending on material price and labor, it may cost around $250 to $275 per trap. Now that you have your heart stack trap, let's show you how to set it up. The materials needed include heart stack trap and pole or a piece of rebar, a post pounder or small sledgehammer, a paper clip or binder clip for attaching the lure, a pheromone or lure of your target moth species, disposable gloves for the lure, and flagging tape. First off, you want to select a site near your field that is out of the way from tractors and other implements, but easy enough to access so you can check the contents often. The flagging tape can help with trap visibility for farm operators. The next step is to drive the base pole into the ground with a post pounder, a small sledgehammer, or your foot to ensure the trap is placed at a proper height. The heart stacks trap's height is approximately 4 feet off the ground, and you maintain this height by controlling weeds below the trap. After the pole is in place, simply place the trap onto the pole. You will want to make sure the collection jar is attached correctly to the top of the trap. You are now ready to hang your lure and start attracting the target species. Wearing disposable gloves, attach the lure on the trap using a paper clip or a binder clip. This allows for easy changing of the lure. If you have multiple traps for monitoring different species, 
you'll want to change the disposable gloves between each trap. You'll want to purchase your lures or pheromones prior to the arrival of your target pest and make sure to purchase enough to last throughout your monitoring season. Lures and pheromones lose their efficacy over time with many needing to be replaced every two to four weeks. Lures and pheromones are commercially available from many different sources. We recommend checking the traps once or twice a week so you can be informed of early pest detections or when your catch numbers reach application thresholds. To check the trap, remove the top, place in a plastic bag, and hold under vehicle exhaust to knock out the alive moths. You can also place the top in a freezer for two hours. We recommend that you record your catch numbers throughout the season. We found that the heart stack trap worked very well for tomato fruit worm and squash vine borer. Your local cooperative extension network can help you determine thresholds for various crops and commodities. Our 2022 research here in Arkansas showed that the number of adult tomato fruit worm moths correlated to when we saw the tomato fruit worm begin to infest our crop. Trap catches are a good indication that you should be seeing eggs and larvae in your fields. This video was produced with funding from the Southern Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education Program. It was filmed at the Southwest Research and Extension Center in Hope, Arkansas. Thanks for watching. Thank you.